The 2023 FIM Moto3 World Championship has been decided in dramatic fashion after an action-packed GP of Qatar saw Jaw Meja fight his way to victory in one of the most eventful races of the season. Even though he won the World Championship, Meja received ridicule from netizens for doing dirty tricks to get rid of Sasaki. Almost all posts about Meja were attacked, on MotoGP's Instagram account, the Leopard team, even Meja's personal account. The Spaniard did not have it easy by any means as rookie sensation David Alonso was snapping at his heels on the final lap, but the Colombian couldn't quite find a way through and neither could Denise Anchu who came third the hard way. Fighting his way through the pack after a jump start for the Turk saw him serve a double long lap penalty. The race made some headlines for a number of moves in the title battle. Meja was on a charge from 10th place on the grid and put himself well within the mix. The chaos continued to unfold as positions were swapping and changing from corner to corner. A harsh move came from Meja early on, as he forced himself and Sasaki wide, with both losing out but the latter a little more. It was deja vu, with 10 laps remaining as Meja made the same move again on Sasaki as he tried to stuff it up the inside but sent the pair of them wide once again as they dropped down the order to 5th and 7th. For that, the number 5 got a conduct warning too. Sasaki as the Japanese rider, got swallowed up by the chasing pack and dropped like a stone down to 8th however. It went from bad for worse for Sasaki then, with as the front 5 broke away with the number 71 stuck battling with Meja's teammate Adrian Fernandez, with Meja still leading the way. No one could touch Meja on the final lap though, with the leopard rider sealing it with a win as Sasaki tried everything he could to recover positions. A victory in a tense and dramatic Qatar Airways GP of Qatar secured the Spaniard a maiden Grand Prix title, adding to three further wins in a season that has seen the Spaniard take ten podiums so far and run at the front throughout. Sasaki expressed his frustration. Meja was very aggressive once or twice in turn six. But that was okay. But when his teammate came along, he closed the throttle once in the middle of the track, which led to a big gap to the leading group. Somehow. I tried to overtake him, but he immediately overtook me again. So I had no choice but to find a moment when I could overtake him again, and immediately open up a gap. I managed to do that, but I ran out of time. 